Obama is a radical communist, and I think it's becoming clear. That's what I told people in Illinois, and now everybody realizes it's true. He's going to destroy this country, and we're either going to stop him, or the United States of America is going to cease to exist. Is, is there any... Do you still hold regrets against not having long enough time to debate against President Obama? I don't have any regrets. I went into Illinois. People told me at the time I didn't stand much of a chance of winning. The idea was to bear a true witness. The man is an abomination. He is someone who has actually advocated infanticide that when babies are the target of abortion, if they happen to escape the abortionist's intention and are born alive, he actually supported the idea that those babies should be set aside to die. That is a man with such a seared conscience, I can't even understand why anybody in their right mind would consider him worthy of political support. That's a violation of conscience that is inconceivable. And even some of the most hardline pro-abortion people in America rejected that abomination, and he did not. So what does tonight mean when President Obama is, is, is President of the United States? How does, how does is he? Play a role? That's another question. Is he President of the United States? According to the Constitution, in order to be eligible for President, you have to be a natural-born citizen. Uh, he has refused to provide proof that he is, in fact, a natural-born citizen. And his Kenyan relations say that he was born in Nairobi at a time when his mother was too young to transmit U.S. citizenship. So I'm not even sure he's president of the United States. No, that's not a laughing matter. Neither are many of our military people now who are going to court to ask the question, do we have to obey a man who is not qualified under the Constitution? We're in the midst of the greatest crisis this nation has ever seen. And if we don't stop laughing about it and deal with it, we're going to find ourselves in the midst of chaos, confusion, and civil war. It's time we started acting like grown-ups. How, how could the policy that President Obama makes in the next couple of years affect activities like tonight? I'm sorry, President, the, 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 the person you call President Obama, and I frankly refuse to call him that. Right. At the moment, he is somebody who is kind of an alleged usurper who is alleged to be someone who is occupying that office without constitutional warrant to do so. And, and he's rushing forward with ideas like destroying our borders, an amnesty bill that will actually have the American taxpayer footing the bill for illegals to come to this country to live, to get housing, and to get everything they want. He is also somebody who has just announced a program that would essentially destroy the validity of existing mortgages and encourage everybody in the country to stop paying their mortgage because the government is going to pay it instead. This is insanity. It's as if we have put insane children and adolescents in charge of our government. And I think we need to ask simple questions. A couple of years ago, we were arguing over every penny in the United States budget, and it was quite clear we didn't have enough money to go around. Well, somebody asked me where we came up with $2 trillion in the course of the last six months. Did we wish for it out of the air? Have people gone mad in this country? You don't have that money. We are claiming that a bankrupt government can save a bankrupt banking system. Explain to me how that happens, because I think that's impossible. And the fact that we have just elected an individual who may or may not be qualified, and he presents silly ideas like this and says, let's move forward now, and we're all acting like the laws of economics have been repealed, and we can actually afford to foot the bill with money nobody's got. This is insane. It's got to lead to the collapse of our economy, and it's going to.